treatment with malabsorption. So you suspect malabsorption when the patient has symptoms such as steatorrhea, when he has uh, food, undigested food mixed with stool, and obviously has features of nutritional deficiency. So first we do the baseline investigations, include CBC, yes sir. So in CBC, you will get anemia in PBF, you might get a microcytic or macrocytic anemia depending on the iron or folate or vitamin B12 deficiency. You also do the folate level and B12 level, often they are low, especially in celiac disease, both of them are low. In small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, the B12 level will be low. Calcium and albumin, uh, because whenever there is malabsorption, there is decreased absorption of vitamin D and that leads to hypocalcemia, urea and electrolytes because oftentimes there will be electrolyte abnormalities. And obviously you have to do the celiac disease antibodies such as the anti-endomycel antibodies and anti-tissue transglutaminase antibodies. So after doing the baselines, go for the small intestine, investigate the small intestine, starting with the biopsy. So if there is uh, endoscopy. Endoscopy will will do the endoscopic biopsy of the duodenum, and typically we will find villus atrophy in patients with uh, celiac disease, also in patients with dermatitis herpetiformis and tropical sprue. We'll also do the hydrogen breath test to identify patients with small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. And one of the differential of uh, small intestinal malabsorption is Crohn's disease. So to see active inflammation, we have to do the fecal calprotectin. We'll also be able to do the barium follow-through to see for any stricture. And the best test to see for small bowel Crohn's disease is small bowel MRI, also known as MRI enterography. And if those tests are all normal, we have to investigate the pancreas. So in the pancreas, the functional tests are the fecal elastic, elastic study and pancreal laurel test. And the next step would be ultrasonography and CT scan of the pancreas to look for any calcification or any masses. And the best test would be MRCP. If those tests are normal, we have to consider bile salt malabsorption. And for that, we have to do a specialized test known as SCHCAT test, which is the 75 selenium, selenium homocholinic acid taurine test. 75 selenium homocholinic acid taurine test. Homocholinic or homocholic acid taurine test. And also we can do the serum 7 alpha hydroxy cholesterol studies.